welcome back to my channel today where we do lots of unboxings over here. Today we are going to be diving into my journal junk box and I also have the sack from the journal junk team as well. These are both going to be for February 2024 so we're going to go ahead and get started and check out both of these boxes. <laughs> Now, if you're not familiar with this subscription, this is a monthly subscription and you can buy one or the other, or you can buy both if you feel like it. I will be posting a link down below in the video description box for you guys, along with a discount code. So I like to start with the sack first, and this is the smallest version that the Journal Junk team carries. The sack in the box, <laughs> that sounded kind of funny. The difference between the two of them is that you're just going to receive more items. However, they don't have repeats. So whatever's in this sack will not be in the box. That way, if you subscribe to both of them, you're not gonna be getting duplicate products. So this is what it looks like instead of the journal junk sack. We definitely have a love theme. So I'm gonna show you the first item, which is some stickers. There's a lot on here. It is front and back as well. And it says they are the Lucky Us, Lucky in Love stickers. There are 76 total on this sheet. So you're going to have a little bit of everything with these love stickers. So I love that there's flowers. I like that there's different colors, though, that are complimentary. We have words in here, some letters. On the back, there are going to be some different ones that you could use as borders as well. So one thing I always try to give you guys a little bit of ideas or inspiration on is you can do more than just journal with these boxes. That's obviously the way they've designed it and originally set it up is so that you can journal, add some stickers in there, make it really fun and cute, or you can use these for scrapbooking if you'd like to. I use them in a smash book, which I'm going to show you guys a little bit more just for ideas of what to do with these products. Smashbooking is similar to scrapbooking, but it's not organized. It's messy and you just kind of stick things in and you smash it in. You're not supposed to make it perfect is the idea. So for example, with the stickers that have words on them down here at the bottom, you could absolutely stick these inside of a smash book similar to what I did over here. And I've got things like happiness, love, families forever, joy. I put the family sticker down here. So this will give you kind of an idea of where you can just throw stickers anywhere on a page and it's going to give you kind of a little, just a little bit more to look at, a little bit more color, and it's going to give you a little bit of character. You guys are totally getting first glances at my family too. This is me, if you can believe it, there I am right down there. <laughs> So stickers are one of the easiest ways that you can incorporate them into anything. And even if you didn't want to do a smash book, you could save these for letter writing, for cards, for presents. I mean, stickers can go anywhere. So don't be fooled by the journal junk name. It is more than just journaling. But there's a lot more to go through inside of this sack. So the next item that I have here will be a bookmark. This is going to give you some inspiration and ideas on what to journal about. So it says journaling prompts for new beginnings. What's a new small step you can take today towards a big goal? Write about a fear you want to overcome in this next chapter. And what unhealthy habits do I need to change? So these are all journaling prompts that you can answer while journaling, which gives you an opportunity to reflect and to meditate. Additionally, you do have a little card here. This one says you make a huge difference. These cards are great because you can actually use them as little gift tags if you wanted to. You could also write a really fun note on these and leave it in a public place. That way they could see it on a mirror or somewhere that's encouraging, give them a little pep talk. Additionally, in my smash book on that same page that I showed you guys, that's what I did here with this card. There's nothing on it. I just taped it in there because I thought it looked pretty and I liked it. So you could easily take this same card and even layer it right on top of it and just include it. Because it is the love theme this month, we also have a cute little pen and it has a cute little heart on it. 
Additionally, I do have a notepad that says daily notes and it does have little hearts all over it, but this is just a memo pad. They're not sticky or anything like that, but you can use these everywhere. You can put it on your fridge, make shopping lists. And the last item inside of the journal junk sack is going to be a journal and love notes book. So this will be spiral bound and it is going to be laminated front and back here. So it does make them a little bit more solid, but not as strong as like a hardback book would be, but it is all lined paper inside of here and you can use this for anything. I mean, notebooks can be used for anything and everything. Next, we're gonna dive into the February Journal Junk Box. Now, this is a much larger box that is filled with lots of goodies inside. All along the same line of thought, there are gonna be a lot of office supply related items. I like this subscription better than the sack, but it's only because I receive more in it. There's nothing wrong with either of them, but I just love getting a full box with all of these different goodies inside. So this is what it looks like inside when you open it up. It's just so cute. Every time I open these boxes, I love the color. They're just fun. They make me happy. I mean, if a subscription box can make you happy, it is 100% worth it already. First item inside of our box today is going to be a tumbler. This is from the company called Heartfelt and it is a 16 ounce tumbler. It is called the prettiest tumbler where you can embrace your inner self and create your story. So this is what it will look like here. It's got a straw, but it is brand new. I'm gonna take this off so we can look at it. And we've got our writing on here and there's also these adorable flowers. This is really cute. So this one says, being yourself is the prettiest thing that you can be. Personally, I love that you get a few lifestyle items with this box because sometimes it could be overwhelming to get it every single month with this many products because you may not go through all of them in a month's time. So getting a few other items along with your subscription that I know I'm still gonna use, I feel like makes it really exciting and worth it. So I like when we get things like this, but I also think this one is really cute. Like this is cuter than usual. I wanna take this one out with me. Next up, I do have some pens. This is a trio and they're all going to be jotter pens that have the same Be Mine theme. So they're really cute and they've got little sayings on the top of each of them. These ones are going to be gel pens, it says. Yeah, so these are a set of three gel pens. I also, ooh, these are the things I love getting for my book. So these ones are from Simple Stories and it is a vintage love story with 47 pieces all on that theme. So I'm gonna show you guys kind of how you use these, but again, you can get very creative with these. On the back here, it's gonna show you what all of them are inside of this bundle but essentially they're just going to be fun accent pieces once again to put into like scrapbooking or if you wanna do a smash book, you can also glue these right into your journal. Sometimes it's a really fun way to just be creative, let it kind of flow. And if you don't wanna share your journal with others, that's absolutely fine, but you can make it more fun for yourself even just by putting these in there. And you can use tape, you can glue them in, whatever you'd like to do. So this one's like a little ticket that we have here. We've also got a little card. You could actually write on this and then glue it inside of a book. This one is really large. So again, they're all different pieces, but they're gonna be this vintage style. There's even little hearts in here. So you've got little heart pieces and you could glue these around. Oh, this would be so cute, you guys. You could put photos and glue them around it, or you could do a border on one side and glue them right next to each other. I don't know, I'm just saying, you guys, I'm thinking, and there's a lot of potential with these. We've got some other ones here that, again, look like little tickets or call cards. I mean, you guys, how adorable are these? Oh, you guys, there's even little stamps. So these are all little stamps that are vintage that you could absolutely put on a page as well. I, okay, I love these, you guys. Now, I don't have these exact ones in my Smashbook, but I do have 
one that's sort of like it that might give you some inspiration. So I have a page here about the movies and what I did is these were movie ticket stubs that are just like those stamps. They're thicker cardstock and I just glued these in. They were already made up. I didn't print those. And you can add them to a page where you may have like some vintage letters. Maybe you wanna just do flowers and you can throw in those stamps. You could put in a really cool postcard if you have one you wanted to save. Something along those lines I think would be really cute with that. But when you add in a bunch of different things, it gives it a lot of texture and lift and it just looks exciting. So that's where those come into play to really bring it to life. All right, back to the box. So our next item is another memo pad, but it's much larger and it does have a little design on it here. These ones are gonna be multiple pages. So once again, you've got a nice little memo pad. Also included in this box is the same journal that we had in our journal junk sack. So this one is slightly different because the back is a slightly different print on here. But other than that, it is going to be the same lined pages. Oh, we also have a stamp. So we have a cute little love stamp with a heart. I love this. So you can add this in to any pages. And that's the beauty, you guys, because it's so generic. If you wanna use this in a smash book, you can put love next to anything. It doesn't even have to be a person. You could put an animal, your pet, you could put plants, your flowers, whatever you are into or your hobby, and stamp that in. You could put it on a corner even. Oh, there's just so many ideas. And the beauty is, with a smash book is there's no wrong answers. You just glue and put it down and stamp and you see what comes out of it. This is a magnetic board. It comes with a marker, an eraser, and then also a magnetic pin, button? Button's probably the right word. So you could put something on it if you wanted to, but it does have the magnet strip here on the back so you can actually put this on your fridge, leave little notes if you need to or wherever you need it handy. And the last item inside of our box today is going to be a bag. This one says, do all things with love. So if you do go out to the store and you want to stock up on some more supplies, maybe you're doing a craft run, you can take your little reusable shopping bag. So that is everything inside of my journal junk box and sack for February. Comment down below and let me know what you guys think of these two today. I love Ironically, this is gonna be so funny, but the thing that I absolutely love the most are those vintage cutouts. The ones that look like stamps with the hearts and they're all different shapes. I'm so excited to use those because it's simple, it's easy, they're cute. I can't wait to put those in my book. So I am really excited about that. And I know it seems so simple, but I, that is the thing I'm most excited about. I just love them, they're different and I don't have them. But comment down below and let me know what you guys think. What are your favorite items? Hopefully by showing you my Smashbook, this gives you some ideas as well. It doesn't have to be only journaling. Obviously that is a great way to use this box. Simple, they get you started with it. But if you think about it, you can use these for a lot of other options too. So until next time beauties, have a great rest of your day and I will see you all in my next unboxing video. Bye.